Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top baby products since essentially Darcy was born. I couldn't decide if I was gonna categorize it as like newborn, first year essentials and then toddler essentials, but I've decided that not a lot has overly changed. Obviously the progression of his age <laughs> has changed. And so things we once used quite a lot, we don't have a need for anymore, but I still thought that I would share with you all of the essentials from when I had my baby to when he is now 18 months. So there's a lot, and majority of them I don't have physically with me annoyingly because of the fact that they're with him at daycare, sorry, Darcy, I should say, um, or for the fact that they're big bulky items and have been put in storage and that sort of thing. So I will try my hardest to show you physically, but obviously if not, I will pop a photo on the screen. And everything, of course, will be linked down below. This is not affiliated with any of the brands today. However, one of the brands I am gonna be mentioning today I have worked with in the past but none are working with me on this video today as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you are new to my channel and let's get into it the first product is the mama is it Mamiya it's M-A-M-I-A -A, um, Aldi range essentially of wipes and nappies now I have been a fan of these nappies for a very very long time and I tried out Huggies nappies, I tried out the Woolworths brand, I can't remember the name, but the one with all the dots on it, and a few other brands along the way. And I just can't fault the Audi nappies. I do find that it's a very personal preference for mums with regards to what nappies they like and the wipes that they like and that sort of thing. But I've had no issues with leakages or that kind of thing unless it was time to upgrade to the next size. So yeah, I've absolutely stuck by these since he was a little newborn and I've found the sizing to be progressively accurate, if that makes sense. So yeah, they've got the wings and when they are the newborn sizes, they have also got the indicator line to tell you when they've done a wee, which is very helpful. Obviously the older they get, the less you need to do that because they don't wee as frequently and it's very obvious when they need a change or you just change them frequently every like two to three hours or whatever your routine is. And I also really enjoy the wipes. We get these in bulk. They have a different variety of wipes. They do have a thicker, more plush style, but they are more expensive. We just find these ones work, but occasionally I will buy the more expensive ones if these ones are out of stock. On the whole concept of nappies and stinky things, I thought it's not really a baby product, but it's something that I wouldn't have with like I wouldn't go without having had a baby if that makes sense so it's the Glen 20 Dettol spray now I've mentioned this in favorites before and honestly I get the country scent I like that one more but honestly it just kills all the nappy bin stink and it's just I don't know so important I've tried going weeks without this before but well, not on purpose but it wasn't on sale before and uh, I, I can't stand paying full price of things as you would know on the history of my channel if you've been here a long time I love a good bargain so when these go on sale I buy like five of them and then they last for absolute months but yeah I just would not go without this if you got a nappy bin. On the topics of bums, um, I love Sudocreme on Nappy Rash. It's a bit iffy among the mum world. Some people think it's a bit harsh. Some people don't like using it. They think it's too gluggy, that sort of thing. I have found it an absolute treat. I actually used this in aged care when I worked in aged care for my residents. And I've liked it even more so become, when becoming a mum on the baby's bum. You can obviously go more natural if you want to, um, but I have had this tub since he was born. We were gifted it and it's about to run empty, but I'm just going to repurchase. It's absolutely awesome. Another product that I have been trialing because we went, I went to a blogger's brunch. God, that would be ages ago now. It's almost a year ago. Um, so that goes to show how long these last. I've tried out the Little Innocence. Now they are a very natural brand and they are all about the organic stuff, like the organic stuff, good job Katie, um, really like organic ingredients and natural and not harsh on your baby's skin, that sort of thing. So I got gifted a hair and body wash and I was also gifted the 
Intensive Soothing Cream. Now the reason I am a huge fan of this, out of the two products, if I was to repurchase anything it would be this, um, because I think that a hair and body wash that's natural you might be able to get anywhere, but I do really like this one, that's why I've kept it in the video. Um, but I did want to mention this one particularly for the fact that Darcy used to deal with, and you might remember if you watched our vlogs, um, that he dealt with a lot of eczema on his skin. And this is a really gentle formula that actually really works really well on making that disappear. So we put it on every night after his bath, just on his face where his eczema is. Um, obviously you can put it elsewhere if you really want to, but because it's such a small tube, I wanted to make it last and see for the longevity, whether it was actually this that was fixing it or if the eczema was just clearing up itself, that sort of thing. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this and you can use it from age zero, which is incredible. Interestingly, I think this is designed for baby bottoms because it says on the back it's for that, but it also says it's not just for that, it's for, um, it's an organic healer essentially, which is for a range of stressful skin conditions. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. They told me that the owner of the company used it on their kids as eczema, so that's why I trusted that. And then as I said, I really like this one too, which is a minty kind of smell about it. Oh, here we go, Heavenly Spearmint and Sweet Orange. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. This is almost running empty as well. I definitely think I'll be repurchasing. It's really gentle on his skin in the bath. I was finding that other products that I had been using previous to that were actually making his skin really dry out and cause him to get more eczema, which was then a vicious cycle. So we've gone to just these and I'm really liking it. On to feeding and equipment, that sort of thing. I really like the Tommy Tippy bottles and the whole set actually, I think we got from Chemist Warehouse. It's the steamer and it comes with like 20 bottles. The different teats and things like that are really accessible, such as like Big W, I think Kmart even sells them as well. So we've got ranges from one through to three on the number of like how fast it comes out. And I've got a bunch of these bottles. It's still to this day what we use. We've used it since he was bottle feeding at like two months of age or one month of age or whatever it was when I had to express and then thicken it and feed it to him. It was in these bottles. So I've never had an issue with him hopping between the breastfeeding and bottle use with these. So that's why I would highly recommend them. And then I also really recommend the Medela pump. Again, I'll leave the like details of which specific one I have down below because I can't think. I think it's the swing, but I could be wrong. So I'll leave it down below and I'll obviously put a photo there for you. But that one was a absolute lifesaver when my baby was little. So when he was... I think about a month and a half, two months, he started to get like reflux symptoms, really bad reflux symptoms actually. And I had to uh, express before every single feed and thicken the first bit of the feed and then he would breastfeed after that. So I found that pump really efficient. It was just easy to use. The only negative with it is the tube did get a bit moldy because the milk sometimes went through there, but they're easily repurchased at Chemist Warehouse, I think for about $15. I'm gonna have to buy a new one for this baby because obviously I can't use the old one. It is an expensive pump, which is really frustrating, but I guess it's you know a case of you'll pay for it if it's worth it. So yeah, it's definitely worth the money in my opinion. And even the hospital used the Medela range, but it was obviously more of like a hospital grade pump, but I was really happy with this swing version. Now onto clothing items. I did mention this recently and it's more of a recent purchase, but it's one that I definitely will continue to use with the next baby once they start walking, is the Atipas shoes. Now a mum friend of mine has a local business, as I've mentioned so many times before, and she sells these. Oh. We've got some construction work, which is great. She sells these shoes and um, she also sold that monkey toy that was in my favorites last month or last week or whatever it was. Um, but the shoes is the one that I wanted to really mention even though the toy is also a favorite in the house. The shoes are just incredible. I get asked about them every single place that I go where there's kids involved. All the mums and the parents are like, oh my God, where are they from? They're so cool. Um, and the reason they're really cool is they've got holes in the base and they allow the water to go in and out. So. I'd, I'm gonna shut the shut the window, but it might rattle. So the base of the shoes allow water and breathability as well. And 
and the top is actually a sock so it keeps it really nice and snug on the foot but it's not like uncomfortable for them and it just looks really funny it looks really interesting but it works like an absolute treat he learned to walk in those shoes and I trusted that it wasn't dangerous for his feet to learn in that kind of sole because they obviously say the hard soles aren't good for their feet that kind of thing so it's really flexible they were on the pricier side in my opinion for shoes but i have got so many months worth of use out of them and the fact that i don't have to stress when we're at a water park that the floor is too hot he can wear them in water out of water that sort of thing to me is like priceless so i think they were like high 30s or low 40s i can't quite remember again i will link it down below for you if you're interested in buying them and then on to other clothing items. I, I mean, do I even have to mention this? Most mums are already onto this, but Bonds Wand Suits, Wonder Suits. I haven't zipped it up, which is terrible of me. We get so much use out of Bond onesies in our house. Like, honestly, I don't even have to mention that too much. Everybody knows about Bonds, but I had to mention it in case there was a few mums who out there who were maybe pregnant and didn't know yet. So you've got to try those. Now, next up is our grow bags from the grow company. Now I worked with these guys months and months ago. Now they gifted me two grow bags for summer and winter. And I'm just obsessed with them. I love them so much. I mean, it doesn't have to be this brand. If you don't want it to be, you can choose any brand um, of sleeping bag that you'd like. I would just never go again a season without a sleeping bag. The only season we don't use it is summer. And it's just, I mean, that's pretty obvious in Brisbane why it's so hot. He's barely in anything but a nappy sometimes. So there's no surprise that we don't put a sleeping bag on him then. But otherwise, I would suggest this lovely grow bag. It's so soft, incredibly warm for him during the winter months. And of course, the new baby will get the use out of this as well. But the other sleeping bag, which is currently in the wash because he's been using it all the last like month and it's like disgusting and I'm disgusted to say that I haven't cleaned it in like four weeks, but I haven't. So that's where it is at the moment. But it's a thinner material. It's like a jersey material. And I think there's even thinner ones that you can buy as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with them and yeah, I definitely would recommend that company if you were looking for some. Now on to toys and things like that. Obviously there was a million and gazillion toys and things that I could mention that we've got a lot of use out of and that are favorites in our house. But I guess if you want to see those in detail, you can watch my favorite videos, my old favorite videos. For now though, I wanted to mention the ones that we've been really reaching for the most continually over his life <laughs> as such. Um, and so the first one is a walker. Now you can get this from anywhere. I personally got ours from Big W, I think. I think they also sell them at Kmart, places like that. Really simple. I just love the diversity of age ranges. So because of this particular style that we have, there's a like panel, I guess, that's like a musical panel that can come off of the trolley and I liked that he could use that from like sitting age so he could sit there and whack it and really interact with it and then obviously it clips on and then it encourages him to learn to walk. Now at first I didn't think I was going to get a lot of use out of this. I thought well he can pull himself up on anything but in fact it was actually one of the toys that he grew to love the most and still loves to this day even though he's running. I've had to actually confiscate it which is why it's in uh, what's it called? Storage because of the fact that he was just pelting it around the house into walls. I was like, nah, we can't have this anymore. But if he had it his way, he would use that absolutely every single day. And I think it was only something like 30 or $40. So if you can invest in that, I definitely would recommend that. And the second toy, which is more like a book. And again, I've, I could go on to so many toys that he's absolutely loving, but I, as I've said, I've mentioned them in favorite videos, so you can go see them there. But this is another favorite that has been a continual day in, day out grab kind of toy is this is my kitten book. Now, when I first mentioned this in a favorites video like months ago, I said, it doesn't matter what book it is, just a vocal book is fine. And while that's true, I got him another vocal book for Christmas. It was like a moo cow one. And he does love both of them. But this one, for whatever reason, I don't know what it is. He just is obsessed with this. And maybe it's the fact that it's a shorter sound or something. I don't know. But this is my kitten is absolutely 
his hands down favorite book. He'll go into his bedroom and absolutely whine for it. So I had to make mention of this book. I'm not sure where you'd be able to grab it from. We just got it from a local news agency, like, place in the shopping center so it's not even like a chain place that you can go in and get it but i'm sure if you looked online for it you could find that um and then the very last item that i'm going to mention which i think it isn't this particular product that you need to like look for but it's the style or type of item if that makes any sense at all i'm going to insert the image here and the reason i don't have it is because it's with darcy at daycare at the moment he is absolutely obsessed with his bunny and for those of you who've been watching for a very long time will know that he cannot sleep without his bunny and he's now gotten to an age where he knows where it is at all times he'll stand at his cot and cry until he has his bunny we got ours as a gift from a friend, but she, I think she said that she got it from Maya. We ended up buying a second one, which is currently in the wash, and that one I think we got from an online retailer. It was about if $40, $50. They are very expensive, this particular type, but as I said, you don't have to go for this exact brand. It really could just be any type of brand. What I would suggest though is when you are picking a comforter for your child make sure it's one that's not going to go out of stock i would highly recommend that if you're going to introduce a comforter of some kind to make sure that you've got backups or that you're easily going to be able to go and repurchase it in a couple of years if you need to which is not an easy task because obviously you never know what a company is going to do with their stock. They might just suddenly decide to not stock it anymore, which is not uncommon. Anyway, that is all of my essentials that I can think of right now. I'm sure there is so many others. And when I have this baby number two, I will review my newborn essentials and my baby essentials and just make sure that everything is still consistent. And if I add anything new, I will let you know about it. But as always, as I have said earlier, make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Leave Leave me your newborn and baby um, essentials so that I can maybe go and have a look at them for baby number two because I'm always up for anything that helps get through life with a kid, especially two. So I would love your help with that. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll catch you next week for another video. Bye. What does perfect even